So currently, I haven't decided yet what the title for this video is going to be, but I think it's going to be something along the lines of R&B guitar hack or something like that. And this is because I've seen somebody on the internet, you know, referring to this chord progression this way, the R&B guitar hack. And it's actually true. This can be considered to be an R&B guitar hack because it's going to be one of the two most common chord progressions in R&B music. So I'm going to explain now what this chord progression is, what this guitar hack is going to be uh, in the key of D minor, but feel free to practice it in any key. And before we get started, guys, while I play it, I would really love if you could write down in the comments below a few songs that come to your mind that actually fit this chord progression. This is going to be fun. So we start with the one minor chord in the key of D minor that's going to be D minor 7. But we are going to play it immediately that D minor 7 with a bit of groove and possibly an embellishment. So as you can see I'm playing arpeggios, I'm playing a percussion and I'm playing the 11th, you know, going to the minor 3rd. And then we go to A minor 7, the 5 minor, right? And we do another hammer on embellishment with the pinky, this time on the G string. So we go... And again, we play with groove, we play hammer-ons, but we play also slides and ghost notes together with the percussions. And obviously, guys, everything is going to be transcribed on my Patreon page, so head to the link in the description below if you want to get the PDF tab and the Guitar Pro tab to listen and practice with the tab itself. Then you move to the identical position on the 4 minor, which is the G minor 7 in the key of D minor, and you can play around with it, okay? You can maybe start with a sus4 down so that you get this type of melody and then just play another four string or page you're playing the four minor and the five minor obviously you can also play them this way if you like this fingering and this voicing better so we get something like and again Okay, so a simple one, five minor, four minor, and then four minor, five minor again in the key of D minor. But again, you can practice it in any key. It's just the use of one minor, four minor, and five minor that really make it so common in R&B and neo soul music. And guess what? If you guys want to learn this and many more chord progressions in the R&B and neo soul style, there's now my R&B and Neo Soul acoustic guitar course, which is available at the link in the description below, and it contains exclusive lessons to cover every aspect of this style, R&B and Neo Soul on acoustic guitar. So finger style techniques, uh, strumming, chord progressions, music theory, and much more, which is only available on my course. So check it out at the link in the description below, and by doing so, you will also support this channel to make lessons like these. Possible. So like I said guys, this is one of the two most common chord progressions in R&B and Neo Soul guitar. Can you guess what's the other most common chord progression? If so, just let me know in the comments below and I'll reply to each and every one to let you know if you got the right chord progression. And now, before we go, if you enjoyed this lesson and if you really want to support this channel, you can do so by liking this video and subscribing to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. 